Hey everybody, how's it going? So we're going to do um, hopefully a quickish tip tonight. We're going to do text on a sphere um, using sort of a, a modified version of the emboss, um, the emboss feature that's in Fusion 360. Now, one of the, um, the little tricks here is that you can't really do, you can't emboss text onto a sphere, right? So if we do sphere, we put it here, and we make it three inch, and we make a construction plane and come on out here and then do some text. Uh, we'll just do something very, oops, uh, sketch on here and rotate this in the front. And we just say text. And we have something, something like that. And we say, hey, hey, hey. And OK. And you finish that, and you want to try and do the emboss command. So if you say create emboss, sketch profile, text, faces. Well, let me pick it. Because Fusion does not consider a sphere faces, and that's your only option. So you can't do that. Um, now, what you can potentially do here is if, if uh, and it's totally feasible, if you only have a little bit of text and you don't care about all of the letters coming out of the, out of the sphere uh, perpendicular to the surface, and you've only got a couple words or maybe one word or something, then then who cares, right? Do this: highlight your text, drag it in, join it, okay, and then you can draw basically uh, a circle to trim that up, and you're you're done. You're good to go, right? That's the easy that's uh, easy mode. Now, if you do have text, now if I back this out, so the issue I had was I had a lot of text, and it was basically going to wrap um, most of the way, or about halfway around um, the sphere. And if you do that, so if I double-click this, and I'll show you what this looks like. So see how it's now coming out past the sides of the sphere. Okay, And so the ones coming out the sides, what we just did isn't going to work. And the ones that are right here at the very, very edges is going to come out wackadoodle. So now if we do the same thing, and I do an E, and I pick that text, and I bring this in, and I say join, right? Um, now I can do a new sketch at the top here. Uh, let's see the circle. out about like so finish <clears throat> and uh, then we can split this body essentially so if we split body one with that okay now you can see there's our line that's where our splits gonna be and all that good stuff and now we can basically hide anything that's not body one right and um, this uh, to me is not that great and I'll show you why in just a second. So it's great. It's great for um, if you have some une uneven surfaces that ultimately will come back, you know, flat. You can see where, you know, these letters are coming out of a pretty steep angle, right? And the only places where you really are perpendicular to the face are right there in the middle, where your sketch met up with the uh, the center line of your of your sphere. Everything else is going to be skewed a bit. And so if you look at it from that angle or, you know, whatever. So it's kind of kind of fun. So here's the way we cheat. Let's undo all this. Control Z and the heck out of it. Let's get back to our sketch. So there we go. So now we have our sketch, right? So I'm not going to really change much here. We have our sphere. We have our sketch. Remember, this is a three-inch sphere. That's going to be important. So now what we're going to do is create a new cylinder on this plane. I'm going to go right in the center. I'm going to call this three inches. And enter. Now it's asking me, do I want to come out any, right? Do I want to make this wall any thicker? And my answer is no, zero. Um, but I do want my height to be a half an inch up. Uh, and we're going to say new body. This is important, right? We want to be able to modify this thing um, here in a second. So we're going to hide our sphere. All right, and we're going to come down here to the bottom. I'm going to say E again, we're going to come down another half inch, just for funsies. And now what we want to do is actually wrap this text around this cylinder. So you use the emboss command. 
emboss, all right, what's your sketch profile, here's my sketch, faces, here's my face. So now it's wrapping around, right, and it's actually coming out perpendicular to the face all the way around, uh, and we'll hit OK. So now we are down to two bodies, right? We have our sphere, right, blank sphere, nothing on it, and then our cylinder. And we want to modify the cylinder a little bit more, so we're going to do E. We're going to extrude this down to just over the top of our letter. We're basically going to cut down what we don't need. I cut too much. Let's bring this up. Probably zoom in just a skosh more. Get it really, really close. Hit OK. And then I'm going to come around and I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom E. Come up super, super close. Do that. That's good. Cut. Okay, so now we have that text. We have that cylinder with text on it and that sphere. You know, in theory, depending on what you're doing, maybe this is fine, but I don't like it because you're still going to have some overlap, right, where your cylinder is now not going to be the same radius as your sphere. So I'm going to do a slight bit more modification to this, and then um, I'm going to do a new sketch right on the top of this because we're going to basically take this body and we're going to split it up into a more manageable chunk. I'm going to do a line. Um, right across there. Okay. And then we're going to do an arc. Arc. Three point arc. And we're going to come in uh, pretty, pretty close. So if we get right out here and then come way over here. And then do way, way down here. A really, really uh, thin toned body here. Finish sketch. And so now what we can do is split this body. Right? So uh, split body, split this body, and we're going to use our splitting tool is going to be this arc. Right? So it's going to extend out past, which is totally fine. Okay. And now we're going to hide this thing we don't want. So now all this wasted space, body two, bye bye. All right, so now we have this. And then if we marry that up with our sphere, now we're getting closer. But now what we can do is say body 3, M for move. And we rotate this to the top. We're just going to pull this in like 0 0.065. Right? So now we are in there. And it's essentially coming out almost perpendicular around it does uh, get a little pronounced here at the edges and that's because you're taking the same radius and moving it blah 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 so we changed that just a slight bit but now you can either do two things you can merge these bodies and call it done right or we can do one more step which is uh, because even though the radius moving you know this way of the lettering is now pretty close the radius of the lettering this way does not match so we're going to do one more sketch, but first thing I'm going to do is actually, I am going to actually combine this body and this body, I'm going to join those together. All right, so now we've got body one, body two, we don't even need any more, so let's just remove it. Right click, remove. Now we're just down to one body, um, but we are going to do a sketch. So let's do one more sketch here, and I'm going to do it on this plane, and we're going to do a quick little line. I'm going to make this pretty close, I don't know, a couple ticks over the top, a couple ticks out the bottom, say OK, let's do an arc, because if you haven't figured out where we're going here yet, we're actually going to use the revolve command to cut this sucker out. So there we go, and we finish that sketch. Now we've got this sort of half circle here, right? Now we're going to revolve this around and make a slightly bigger circle that basically cuts this text at a consistent depth all the way around. So revolve, right? Profile. And I already selected my profile. So if it hadn't already, right, you can basically just select that profile. Now, which axis do you want to go? I want to move this around what would be the Z axis, right? If we're talking about like a 3D printer or something. Um, now, real important here, new body. Okay, and all right. So you still see the text, and this is a little bit confusing, but but really what you have is the slightly bigger cylinder now, or um, sphere, around your original cylinder with some text, right? It's just a little bit bigger. Now we're going to cut. We're going we're gonna to split. 
So let's split body one, right? Body to split, body one. And the tool we're going to use is that new body that we just made and hit OK. Now you got a ton of stuff. That's OK. Hide everything that's not body one. All right, because you just made a whole bunch of little bodies out of those letters and you have that extra bigger sphere that you, need, you now no longer need. So if you hide all that stuff, there you go. Now you have text on a sphere that is perpendicular coming out of all sides of that face, not face. Okay? So, um, anyway... There might be an easier way to do it. I'll leave comments on. So if someone else has figured out an even easier way to do it, that'd be great. I'll leave the comments on for it. But otherwise, I hope this helps somebody. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and, um, and all that good stuff. Thanks.